you know, Pope Francis always says that our church is not a museum. Amen. It is a field hospital for sinners. Yes. And so we need to claim these spaces as our own because they are created for us to grow in our relationship with God, to help our children to connect with God. Even our little noisy Even people. Even our little noisy people that yes. need to go to the bathroom every five minutes. Yes, they are welcome there. This episode of Beyond Sunday is sponsored by the Pime Missionaries. The Pime Missionaries are Catholic priests and brothers changing lives and sharing the merciful joy of Christ with those who need it most through the Pime Sponsorships at a Distance program. Become a Pime sponsor today and bring lasting change to the life of a child, youth, person living with disabilities, or a seminarian. Learn about the impact that you can have at pimeusa.org slash 52 sponsorships. Welcome to Beyond Sunday, a podcast for parents like us striving to weave the Sunday experience into the everyday moments of our week. I'm your co-host, Nicole Joyce. And I'm your other co-host, Rocky McCormick. Grab a map, gas up those cars, and join us as we talk, laugh, and reflect on our experiences raising Catholic families and discovering God within our everyday lives. So, yeah. Hey, Nicole. How's that boredom going? I'm so bored. I'm so bored. I'm so bored. I'm so There's bored. nothing to do. We're at the height of boredom, I think. Like, we are now, what, mid-July. Yeah. We've, We're in, like, this weird stretch of ordinary time, right. too, so it's not even like we have a fun feast day to no, celebrate. because 4th of July has gone. Yeah, we're just kind of here. Just sitting in the heat, being bored. Yep. Lots Although, I will say, like, at our house, we're watching the birds. Mm. For Father's Day last month, we got Tim a bird cam, Ooh, bird house. Ooh, that is And so fun. they have enjoyed that all summer. That's fun. But how about you? How are your kids doing? Oh, they're bored. Hmm. They're bored. Uh, two of them are at camp, though, so that's... Well, that's nice. Yes. Little shout out here to Camp Sancta Maria in Gaylord. Yeah. Super fun place to be. Super fun adventures. Lots of prayer time. Yeah. Daily mass. All those great things. So that does help kind of kick those summer blues a little bit. But... A little bit. We're done with our camps at this point. Okay. VBS is over. VBS is yeah. over. Basketball camp is over. All the other camps du jour. Yeah. Over... So we are kind of in this lull and this letdown of, huh, what do we do now, mom? Right. And we're not, you know, going anywhere big on summer vacation because we work for the church and, well. Because church. Mm -hmm. Church. Well, this week's challenge on 52sundays.com mm -hmm. is to go on a local pilgrimage to try to beat those midsummer blues. Ooh. And I thought this would be a great time to talk about some of the neat places we have right here in Metro Detroit to take our kids for a day trip, maybe pack a picnic. Absolutely. So I think, I think that for a lot of us, when we talk about pilgrimage, it evokes images of like long, silent, prayerful trips yes. to Europe. Mm-hmm. Right. Or the Holy Land. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it involves like expensive travel and lodging, not something that our kids can necessarily come on very easily. But really, the heart of the pilgrimage is just to return to God and to Thank taking you. that time away from our daily routine to dedicate to seeking that out. Thank you. And that actually is my very first question, which is oh. like, how do we define what a pilgrimage is? Right. If we're talking to our kids and we say, guys, we're going to take a mini pilgrimage. Right. And they're like, what is that? The pilgrims? We're going to go what? to the Mayflower? <laughs> no. No, we're not going to Plymouth Rock. Right. However. No. And so I think we can create these pilgrimages in our very own backyards. Mm -hmm. And Detroit certainly has some beautiful spaces for us to visit as families to do that. Yes. So let's talk about some of our favorites. Personally, yes, my favorite mm -hmm. is always the Solanus Casey Center in Detroit. Well, and this is why we get along so well because <laughs> it is my very favorite. It might be one of my very favorite places to go in Detroit, yes. not even on pilgrimage, just right. to go. And the renovations that they've done recently, yes, they have a beautiful, so beautiful. Like, outdoor space. The, the chapel is beautiful. Mm -hmm. There's confession available. They There's have a like gift shop, yes, which my children love it's because just, what we need is more Catholic stuff in the house. <laughs> I was like, can I get this? No. So, you know, make it make it a budget friendly trip right. and maybe just like maybe don't blindfold the them as right. you walk past the right. gift shop. You don't have to go to the gift shop or cafe. <laughs> but the Sana's Casey Center offers us an excellent opportunity and very family friendly yes. opportunity. Yes. To not just learn about the life of our saint of Detroit or hopefully soon to be saint of Detroit, blessed Solanus Casey, but to enter into like the different movements of the spirit in our own life. I love the way that the center is, is built. 
and laid out where you start in the creation garden. And so we reflect on creation and the fact that we are created good, very good by a loving God. And then there's the Hall of Beatitudes with the statues. Oh, I love those. Right. And so we talk about how God has blessed us and how we're called to be a blessing to one another. And then you go into the works of mercy, spiritual and corporal. Mm -hmm. And so it's a beautiful opportunity to have this family retreat on this pilgrimage to talk about all those things. Yeah. That's beautiful. So, yeah. Highly and you can also go to reconciliation all day, every day. Yes, there's confession all the time. Yes, they have not mass. actually can, all day, but not all day, but yeah. most of the day. And they they have a mass schedule on mm-hmm. their website. So definitely check them out. I highly recommend it. And they do have a healing service every Wednesday as well. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So if you have a family member in need of a little bit of healing, that's a beautiful thing to take them to as well. And you know they're always collecting prayers to for the intercession of Blessed Solanus Casey. So it's yes. Just, an all around you hit everything i think that's like my favorite thing is that the kids can write a little prayer intention yeah. and leave it there at his tomb i mean i just think that's so cool right personally. and his tomb is there like yes. how cool is that yes you can talk about relics yeah, i was just gonna say in the relic because my yes. when i took my seventh graders this year they were like can we see the finger yeah like, yes you can go see right? the finger so the relics are there i mean it's yeah it's a very cool experience it's awesome um, a couple what other else? favorites of mine yes. are the Cathedral of the Most Blessed Sacrament in Detroit, oh, yeah. our Mother Church, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. The, the main center and the seat of the Archbishop of Detroit yeah. is there. And they have marvelous artwork oh my gosh. all over the place. Yeah, Father JJ has just, I mean, they've created that very intentionally. Yes, Father JJ Mack. To religious art, sacred yes. art. Yes. Father JJ Mack, the rector of the cathedral, um, is uh, is an artist himself. Right. And, and a lover of art. And so they have some beautiful art all over the place. Yeah. Um, they have a relic of John Paul II. They actually have his chair from when oh, he that's visited right. Detroit. You get to that's see that. Right. Yeah. The monstrance that he brought. The monstrance is so gorgeous. Yes. It's so different. There is a ton of stuff to just quietly yeah. explore. And they have an outdoor visit. space there as well. They a do. Small one, yeah. They do. They have a, a plaza there. Right. It is just a very cool place to hang out. And if you call ahead, mm-hmm. I guarantee you, Father JJ would be happy 100%. to come out and hang out with you. Absolutely. And, and he's a big kid himself. So. Yes. And if you're super lucky, you could be able to his dog. dog. <laughs> Yes, if you get to meet yes. Annie, you are super lucky. Oh my goodness. Right. And I love that it is an opportunity to talk about how we find God in beauty. Yes. Right. Because I think sometimes we forget that everything that is true, good, and beautiful points us back to God. Absolutely. And so the value of sacred art isn't just that it's tradition, it's that it's communicating a truth about the Creator. Yes. I mean, you could spend a day just looking at the stained glass at all the saints oh my goodness you know yeah in the stained glass you could spend a day if you if you ask nicely <laughs> looking around inside the sacristy you could spend a day up and down the hallways i mean there's right. just so much beauty to be seen right. in the cathedral yes definitely yeah. recommend popping over there for a quick trip yeah and then we also have the national basilica shrine of the little flower in royal oak Yes. Dedicated to St. Therese. very cool. Basilica and a shrine dedicated to St. Therese. They have a lovely gift shop. They have an adoration chapel. It's very cool in there, too. little outdoor garden. Yes. And if you've never been to a church like this before, it's very cool because it's circular. Right. Yes. Yeah. And And they have a little chapel to St. Therese in there as well. Yeah. In honor of St. Therese. And lots of beautiful statues. Yes. And they have an outdoor um, Stations of the Cross, right? Isn't that? Right next to the I chapel think, area. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's yes. very beautiful. Yeah, the little garden. Yes, the yeah. garden area. And they have a table with Jesus. They have a table with Jesus. Statue. A yes, statue, the statue of Jesus. Of Jesus. Seated at it's on Woodward, so you can go down Woodward and get lunch somewhere. Yes, Maybe our favorite was Chris Belly's across the street. Oh, Chris there. Belly's is so yeah. good. So, yes, highly recommend. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. And then just the tower itself, the story of the tower. Yeah. And, and why that was built, mm-hmm. when that was built, and and what that communicates is is a beautiful, just a pilgrimage in itself, just to learn about that. Yeah, yeah, lots of wonderful history there. Yeah. All right. What else? There are several others in oh, the area. Oh, we have a ton in the city of Detroit. We mm-hmm. have the Basilica of St. Anne de Detroit, which yes. is the second oldest Catholic church in the United States. Correct. Um, and the oldest in Michigan, yes. I believe. Um, a beautiful historic church, beautiful mm-hmm. traditional artwork in there. I mean, just, it's just you, it's gorgeous. Just go see it. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can say. Yeah. It's just beautiful. They have a nice plaza in front. I was just going to say, and for the kids, there's a plaza in yes. front where they can run around. Yes, just beautiful. Burn off a little energy. And always check their website too because they have a lot of really great activities for families there. Oh, They're for sure. Very I was just family say, and they friendly. do a lot of cultural activities there yes. too with the Hispanic uh, 
community that is down there. Yes, yes, they always so have really fun stuff. Very festive. It's yes. a very, very active parish. Um, a couple other ones in Detroit are Sweetest Heart of Mary, mm-hmm. um, St. Joseph Shrine. Oh, yeah. And then St. Aloysius, which is in downtown Detroit, it right is. near the uh, the chancery for the Archbishop, the Archbishop's offices. Yes. And St. Aloysius is really cool. It's so cool. Because there's two churches. Because there's, there's three levels, Yes, right? there's multiple levels. So when you walk in, you're on the main level, mm-hmm. but you can actually look down into yes. a lower level like a with another altar. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's yeah. very so cool. cool. Yes, and the mosaics are like, oh yes, phenomenal. The mosaics I, are beautiful. The artwork there is also just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I remember when I worked downtown for for the diocese, going down there on my lunch hour or, or whatnot, just to sit. Yes. it's just peaceful and beautiful, and also a very vibrant parish. Yeah, and so summers check are great time too. It's a great time to visit because they have yeah. a weekday mass right around lunchtime. I think it's like yeah, 12, 12, 10 or twelve I think fifteen. Twelve fifteen. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can come to mass. Um, and then you can walk right into downtown. You can mm-hmm. go check out the food trucks and campus marshes. You can go right. into Capitol Park and have lunch. Or you can continue on to other places like Old St. Mary's. Yes, in Old St. Mary. Oh my gosh, Old St. Mary is also another marvelous it is. site. There are for... such beautiful old churches in Detroit for you to discover. Yes. Really, truly. And, and again, it's not about the opulence, right? right? It's not that they're fancy. It's that that beauty elevates our spirit exactly. to a higher reality. Right. It's inviting us to really meditate right. on the, the love and divine relationship that we are Absolutely. invited to be yeah. part of with To Christ. contemplate the face of God. Yes, amen. Um, oh, and we have one more, not in Detroit, but in the metro Detroit area, is the Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Mercy in Clinton Township, which has been one that our family has, has gone to on a few occasions. They have a lovely outdoor stations of the cross that's um, walking. Nice. So it's not just uh, in a little, it's like a little trail. Oh, and so nice. especially if you have littles, I think I've mentioned it before when we've talked about doing stations with the kids, that it's beautiful because it has a little trail. And so if your littles are busy bodies and they need to move, then that is a really beautiful place to visit. And honestly, like, I love the devotion to the divine mercy because who can't use more mercy? And Amen. certainly our, word, our world can use a lot of that outpouring of divine mercy. Yeah. And if you live up in the northern hemisphere of the Archdiocese of Detroit, <laughs> it's not too it's, far of a drive, right? You oh, don't no, have to not drive all. all the way into the city. Yeah. It's it's pretty close to home yep. if you live in Macomb County. That's so really we're in nice. Macomb County and it's maybe like a 10, 15 minute drive. Yeah. Not even. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. And even if you live a little further away, I do recommend it. It's, it's, it's a beautiful place. Yeah, it's, it's peaceful. Now is a great time to take also a Also a nice trip. gift shop. Just Ooh, putting nice. that up Yes. There. Now's a great time to take a little road trip, right? Right. Like just a day trip, pack a lunch. I think yeah. that's marvelous. And speaking of day trips, Ooh, yes. there are some other places to visit within the area that are more of like a full day's trip. Okay. Um, yeah, let's talk about that. I haven't gotten to and is on my bucket list. Maybe now that we're midsummer, we can knock this one out. Ooh. We'll see. Okay. We'll see what Tim says. We'll see what he says when he hears this. <laughs> so first <laughs> right. up, we have the cross, cross in, in the, the woods. woods. Yes. yes. And that's some place that I have wanted to visit for a really long time. Um, it's just a beautifully peaceful pilgrimage site with a giant it's a cross giant crucifix. in the woods. Like, yeah. I mean, it is awe-inspiring for yeah. sure. I mean, yeah. that's what that's what Christian art should be, right? It right. It should really inspire us to think about how wonderful yeah. and Magnificent. beautiful the Lord like has that's made the, the world. That, right. yes. yes, absolutely. Right. What else do we have? Um, there's also the St. Dymphna Shrine in Massillon, Ohio. Ooh, I didn't even know that was here or yeah. like local. So for those of you who maybe struggle with anxiety or have children who struggle with anxiety or other issues with mental health, it's a beautiful shrine for you to visit and ask the intercession of St. Dymphna, cool. who is a patron saint of those with anxiety, depression, and other mental illness. Hmm. There is Our Lady of Consolation in Cary, Ohio. I have not been to that, but I have friends who have been to that and said that that's a really lovely p- place to visit as a family as well. That sounds like a beautiful place to go. Our Lady of Consolation is such a beautiful devotion to Mary yeah. when you think about how she wants to be there for you in right. whatever pain or suffering or grief Absolutely. you might be experiencing. I love it. Yeah. Um, and then I have some friends who just last summer mm-hmm. made their own family retreat okay. to the St. Martin de Porres Family Retreat House in Hocking Hills. Oh, that's so cool. So here's the thing, friends. This would be an overnight trip. You yes. can you can schedule a visit to stay in the retreat house as your as a family. It's pretty big. Mm-hmm. Um, there is no Wi-Fi in the house. Hmm. You go. <laughs> 
to spend time with your family. They're stacked up with board games. You can nice. go on beautiful hikes all around beautiful hockey. So hills. maybe if you're in need of a technology detox yes. in your family. It's a great time to really and connect Hocking Hills is a, a beautiful family. park to beautiful hike in. Beautiful place the waterfalls, to hike. Waterfalls. Waterfalls. Yeah, it's trees, beautiful. Yes, trails. I mean, yes. all the beautiful things you'd want to do, definitely recommend. And it's very affordable. Right. Grab your bug spray, though. Yes. Yes, take bug spray. Yeah. <laughs> but it is a really wonderful, beautiful yes. place to come as a family and get some quiet downtime, totally detoxing. Absolutely. Yeah. Becoming one with nature and the beautiful creation that God has given us. Right. But it's a beautiful opportunity to take that time away and to do what, like a really simple pilgrimage to simply leave the daily routine of our life and the busyness of our life and dedicate that time yeah, to grow I, with God within our families. Yeah, and we were just talking last week about the importance of rest. So right. getting some time away from devices and noise yes. of technology might be no, exactly I'm, what your I'm twitching needs. over here, but you know. <laughs> 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 maybe, maybe, we, maybe this is one we need to do. <laughs> and then one for maybe if you are a little braver or if you have kids who travel well or you want to try to create that culture for your family. It's a much longer trip than just a couple hours. But Our Lady of Good Help in Champion, Wisconsin is the only approved Marian apparition, I believe, in the United States. Ooh, that's cool. I believe. Now, listeners, if I'm wrong, please email us so we can correct <laughs> that in a future episode. But I'm pretty sure that that is the only approved Marian apparition. But that would be a super fun weekend right? trip, you know, take a yep. drive around the lake, go yeah. check out Wisconsin. Eat some That's cheese. Cool. Bring some cheese back for Nicole <laughs> because she loves cheese. Rocky will adore the cheese from afar because her body no longer loves it. Oh, my body doesn't love it either. I still eat oh, it. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I have my moments. So those are some as you're planning family vacations, and maybe this year it's a little too late because we're mid-July at this point. Yeah. But in the future, I think, too, that like we were talking about being cult- countercultural with our rest and that maybe we're countercultural in what it is our families do yeah. for vacation as well. Sure. You know, and building in, if you're going on vacation, so these are local, yeah. but if you already have a vacation planned, do a little Googling. See if there's a shrine that you can visit. Yeah. Stop by, see their local cathedral or their church incorporate a mini pilgrimage into your already scheduled family vacation if Absolutely. you can do that. Absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. that is, again, one way that we can witness the power of the gospel in mm-hmm. a very simple way to say that this is something that is important to us. Mm-hmm. It is living counterculturally without attacking the culture. Right. And just simply saying, this is what we do as a Catholic family. If there is a Catholic site, we are going to go visit that as part of our vacation. Yeah. And even just like visiting a different church. Right. You know, like if you're on vacation, obviously you should be going to Mass. Right. While you're on vacation mass, on Sundays. Is it massfinder.org? You def- yeah. Yeah. And, and, um, and checking out different churches wherever you're vacationing is always really cool. My right. kids love doing that. Um, just a few months ago, my second and uh, oldest and I were at a fencing competition yeah, in, Grand in Grand Rapids. Rapids and we yeah. went to the cathedral in downtown Grand Rapids. Oh, it was super yeah. cool. Because, Andrew, I think. Yes, yes Andrew. Beautiful. So it was beautiful church. We got to walk around and look at some stuff. Yep. They have a really beautiful chapel they for do. adoration. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it was just such a fun experience to see the way things are right. different. You know, and the we way took the music a is trip to Chicago last different. year. Same thing. We stopped in at Holy Name Cathedral downtown. Yeah, went to mass. You know, googled all the churches near our hotel we were staying at. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, and in this world of complete connection to anyone, anywhere, anytime. I'm sure we all have connections to people who are going to be in the areas that we're visiting sure. to get recommendations. Absolutely. Too. So so now the big question that some of our yes. listeners are probably asking, what if our kids are tiny mm-hmm. and going somewhere like a shrine yeah. sounds super scary and stressful? Yeah. How do we do this? Well, number one, this is my, always my go-to is find somewhere with outdoor sites. Mm, yeah. So your kids can run around, expend some of that energy, and then we can do a little bit of quiet time inside too. Yeah, maybe get the noise out before we go in. Right. Yes, right. I like so it. So outdoor pilgrimages are great, and there's a lot of places just even in the city that you can do that. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing too is like your visit does not have to be super long, especially if it's local. You can right. pop in for 10 minutes even. Yeah. Just check it out. Take a minute in front of the tabernacle. We've talked about that holy right. five minutes before. Yeah. <laughs> Build the muscle. Definitely make that a thing. Build the muscle. If they're little, begin to incorporate it into this is just what our family does. Yeah. And so short amounts of time now will reap longer times later. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, And we mentioned this when we 
when we were talking about the cathedral, yeah. but don't ever be afraid to schedule a visit. Right. Give them a call. See and what, most, what uh, I will say that a lot day. of places appreciate that too. They do. Because they want to show off their, yeah. their site. They want to have the right person there right. to be able to show you around, to be able to make sure that they're they're ready for you, that the bathrooms are unlocked, right. for example. <laughs> Practical things, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you, if you that call they're them open. up and say, hey, we were thinking about coming, they might be able to that tell you that there's not a best. funeral going on. Yeah. You know, the best always, day or the right. best time to come and see them. Yep. Um, also, if you've got kids who like to be busy, make a scavenger hunt for them. Do just a little bit of Googling. You can even visit some of the sites that already have them made, like the Solanus Casey Center already has a scavenger hunt you can download from their website. Yeah. So make something for them to do that helps them to explore the place that you're going, but also then contemplate what it is that you're experiencing while you're there. Yeah. And it could be something as simple as like, let's go in Mm -hmm. we're going to look around for five minutes Mm -hmm. and then i want you to tell me three things that you see that are the same as our church at home right and three things that you see that are different right or maybe it's five things that are in all the churches and you just ask them to look for where's the crucifix where's the tabernacle yeah do they have statues yeah there's so many ways you could do this that would be really simple and don't require right it doesn't have to be like an extensive scavenger hunt (laughs) like the one the solanus casey center has yes um and then also, and I want to say this because I think it bears repeating. Forever. Forever and ever, forever. right? That this is your reminder that these places exist for our children and for us. These are not museums. You know, Pope Francis always says that our church is not a museum. Amen. It is a field hospital for sinners. Yes. And so we need to claim these spaces as our own because they are created for us to grow in our relationship with God, to help our children to connect with God. Even our little noisy Even people. Even our little noisy people that yes. need to go to the bathroom every five minutes. Yes, they are welcome there. And, and might don't be need afraid to snack <laughs> while they're sitting in the pew. <laughs> Just be sure to clean up the Cheerios, <laughs> right? But they exist for us. And I think that there is sometimes a mentality that they need to be these silent shrines. And while there is value in teaching your children the posture of prayer yeah it doesn't matter if they maybe you know scream out a few times they're right. children that's what it's they do be an incremental learning it process will. and jesus said let the children come to me yes and yeah. so let the children come yes and that's the other thing about scheduling ahead of time and calling just to see when a good time is to go because yeah. we do want to be respectful if they're having a prayer service if there's a rosary group that's meeting that we're not interrupting another group's prayer time yeah. But these places exist for us. Mm-hmm. God has given us these gifts to help us to grow in relationship with him. I love it. Well, that's our challenge for you guys this week. Check out some of the sites we've mentioned. And even if you can't get there in person, you could do a little online research oh, and learn more about the cool places, the church in Detroit mm-hmm. and the church in, in the wider community of Michigan and the Midwest right. has to offer. So, you know, if you get a chance to take a visit, to schedule a visit, definitely do that. But if not, do some research. Check them out. Talk absolutely. with your kids about them. And if you go and you find something cool, email us. Yeah, we want to hear about we it. We do. Absolutely. Well, thank you for listening to Beyond Sunday. We hope that you have discovered some new places to grow in relationship with God together as a whole family here in the metro area and beyond. You can find more episodes at 52sundays.com slash podcast or subscribe on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. And don't forget, you can reach us at beyondsunday at aod.org. We hope to hear from you. This episode of Beyond Sunday has been sponsored by the Pime Missionaries. The Pime Missionaries are Catholic priests and brothers changing lives and sharing the merciful joy of Christ with those who need it most through the Pime Sponsorships at a Distance program. Become a Pime sponsor today and bring lasting change to the life of a child, youth, person living with disabilities, or a seminarian. Learn about the impact that you can have at pimeusa.org slash 52 sponsorships.